Hi guys, this is going to be another Halloween tutorial and it's a bonus video for you guys so I hope you enjoy it. I'm doing a tiger makeup look so I'm just looking at this photo of my phone and I'm starting with two of my foundations, just the L'Oreal Infallible and the L'Oreal True Match and I mix them together because my fake tan is still there but it's um, faded a teeny bit and I'm just blending this in with my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki and it might sound funny at the moment because I am quite sick so that sucks and I'm taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, my um, large powder brush from Sigma and I'm just putting that all over my face to set my makeup oh my god I, I hate being sick, I like sound like a man <laughs> I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is my new concealer. I quite like it. It's in the lighter shade, like ivory, I think. And it is quite salmon tone, so it does really counteract my dark circles. And I'm also going to put them on my pimples as well. <laughs> I'm taking my next Jumbo Eye Pencil and I really like this, I use this in pretty much every Halloween tutorial and I'm just going to map out the white areas of where the tiger kind of has the white areas, so around my eyes, under my nose and kind of above my eyebrow and down my chin and down the sides of my jaw line. <laughs> And as I go along I'm also blending it in with my finger just so it doesn't look kind of patchy and it blends in quite well but I want to leave the edges of it quite flared out so it kind of looks like hair strokes. <laughs> my Stila Black Eyeliner Pencil and I'm lining the um, waterline and the tight line of my eyes and you want your eyes to be really black for this. And then I'm just doing the other eye, eye with that next job of eye pencil and blending it in as usual. I'm now taking my new NARS eyeshadow in Persia and it's a nice deep orange colour and this is going to be like perfect for a tutorial to use in the crease. I've used it once before and I love it. And I'm going to put it on this small brush and just put it everywhere in those areas where I didn't put the white. And this was like the perfect colour for a tiger because it's not too bright and it's kind of deep orange and it was such good quality. You only need like one dip of this and it goes on in one swipe so it didn't waste too much product. And you want to contour widely down the sides of your nose and this is going to make your nose appear bigger like a lion's. I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow for Made in Blonde as usual and just filling in my eyebrows because I don't want to not have filled in eyebrows. I'm taking this Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner and I'm creating this huge wing kind of flick and just filling it in all over my lid because the tiger has kind of black eyes like this so I try my best to kind of imitate the shape that I see on the picture. And then I just want to bring that in on the inner corner and underneath and attach it back up to that wing. And I'm doing like a kind of spike kind of look at the bottom of my eye because that's what I see in the picture. And now onto the nose. So you can do any kind of nose you want but I kind of did like a round one and I filled in my nostrils and kind of flared it out and try to make it look like a tiger's nose the best I could. And now I'm doing like the dots on the white area and I'm also doing the part of the lips now and I'm making my lips much thinner and I'm going to do that with the Lime Crimes Leto lipstick and I'm just filling in my lips and the dots are like imitating where the whiskers come from 
And I'm making sure I'm not doing my lips um, too thick. I'm kind of doing my bottom lip a bit thinner as well, as you can see. And I'm cleaning that line up with that NYX Jumper Eye Pencil just to make it a bit more even. And I'm taking that black gel liner and I'm just drawing kind of lines to extend the mouth to make it look a bit more like a tiger. And I'm grabbing that NYX Jumper Eye Pencil again and putting this straight under that um, eyeliner, under the eye. And then I'm doing little um, brush strokes and this is going to imitate the little hairs and this is what's going to make it look more detailed and real looking. And if you want it to be more defined and detailed, just grab your gel eyeliner and this is the Maybelline High Glossy, my favourite, and I'm just going over that gel liner and putting in some more um, brush strokes and this looked a bit more detailed and realistic and I can really do little fine lines with this one. Now I'm um, just trying to do the shapes on the tiger's face with the eyeliner, just doing kind of like little C shapes on either side of the face and try your best to get them even. They're not going to be perfect but on a tiger their shapes are probably not perfect anyway. So I'm just doing some up my head and making sure I keep doing little brush strokes at a time. <laughs> Once you've done the patterns on the forehead, you can go and do some more shapes next to them. Just, um, I don't know, I'm doing little lines. This kind of looks different to what was on the picture, but you can kind of do anything you want. And I'm just filling in the forehead because I don't want there to be any random blank spaces. So I'm trying to do it um, as detailed as I can. <laughs> And I'm doing some down the sides of my cheekbones on both sides as well. I'm now adding a bit more detail to the nose and flaring it a bit out because of the picture. That's what I see on the tiger. And I'm fixing up the lips a teeny bit as well. Now onto the chin and neck area. So now I'm putting this all down the sides of my jawline and making like a double chin face so I can get right underneath um, the chin area. Oh. And try and do it as thick as you can and make sure that there's not much gaps in the eyeliner. And now onto the neck. So I'm just doing kind of like a um, V shape on the neck. And then I'm getting my next jumper eyeliner again and just um, doing some lines underneath that. And you want to make sure you're making little lines, not colour it all in white, because this is just going to imitate the little hairs. <laughs> going in with the black and I'm just going right underneath that on both sides. And then I'm doing it on this other side and I'm bringing the, it kind of down as you can see. And I'm putting some black lines underneath that white as well. And I'm doing like a V shape at the bottom because in the picture it was kind of like a V shape. And I'm getting that Maybelline Hyperglossy Gloss again because I didn't think it was like detailed enough, the lines. I'm just going over all the lines and putting in fine um, hairs all in between them. <laughs> Now I'm getting that orange 
um, NARS eyeshadow again and I'm just filling in that little gap there because I felt like there needed to be some orange in the area and I'm also putting some underneath that black and I think this would be cool if you did it all down your chest and all down your arms if you wanted to go all out I reckon that would look really cool um, just do the same thing as I did to the neck all down your arms I'm just getting that uh, Maybelline uh, what is it liquid liner again and I'm just doing the brush strokes all down my jaw and on my nose and I'm kind of making everything look a bit more detailed and go on with your mascara and coat the top and bottom lashes because we don't want blonde or white lashes poking through the black and you can do false eyelashes if you want but I decided not to so this is the look without the fake blood and now I'm going in with some fake blood to make it a bit more scarier like the um, tigers ate in an animal or something and I'm just dripping that down the sides of the mouth and putting it all around the mouth area and I do little brush strokes on my ears and um, paint my ears, well not paint my ears, put the orange eyeshadow on my ears to finish it off. And here's the finished makeup look, I absolutely loved the way it turned out. On the night you can act like a tiger like I am here. And yeah, it's, it's pretty cool and it's quite easy to do and it was quite fast. And now I'm going in here with my pink eyeshadow, I'm just filling in that nose but I think this made it look much more better because it's um, showing that it's the tiger's nose. And it's just the pink shade of the Galaxy Chick palette. I mean, take me to Brazil palette.